So it's the time of the year again where we start to get a ramp up of content in NBA 2K23, my team, lads. And there is a precedent that has pretty much been set from last year that I would be extremely surprised if 2K move away from it. In an ideal world, we will get moments cards the day after they, well, played the game. That is something that, in an ideal world, we would do. It will give us a grand total of about 20 to 30 moments cards a month and a new card every single day, as well as, well, that just brings hype into the game because we all kind of know that. From looking at the uh, Season 3 set, the fact that there were Season 3 cards every day, a lot of people were getting more excited. It was getting a lot of people playing the game. And I do think that giving consistent shorter grinds is always the way to go. But as we know, 2K have been on vacation the last week. So if we look at last year, so if we go to NBA 2K22, there was a card, a DeMar DeRozan um, Opal card who came out on January the 7th. If we look at the date of January the 7th, that is the equivalent of this week. I am not 100% sure whether they're going to drop everything on Friday. It might take four or five days for 2K to actually be able to implement this. But if we look at the way Moments in a Month was last year, this was like a really cool concept where it was like you would just get all five of these rubies from playing the game. And then you would be able to, once you got all these rubies, you would do like a challenge. Say it was like 75 points in X game mode. Um, we'll give you like Gafford, something will give you Metu, one will give you Noel. Then you would complete challenges with all of these guys based on their moments game. And you would go and then get, you work your way up and then work your way up to diamond, work your way up to pink diamond. And then eventually at the end of it, all going and getting yourselves a Damar DeRozan card, which was cool. I found that to be extremely, extremely cool. I caught it as a concept that was really good and it worked well, but is it the most ideal way of running moments cards? No. Again, the most ideal way is for it to be every day. The second most ideal way would be to have moments of the week and have them updated weekly because there are issues that come along with moments of the month. First of all, an issue with moments of the month is that cards that come out or car games from, you can see here like 12th to the uh, 22nd or the 12th, 1st to the 1st, 31st to the 12th. Like there are situations where you're like, this game here was on the 8th of the 12th, the 8th of December, a Daniel Gafford game. These cards came on the 7th of January. People will have forgotten what the hell happened a month prior, whereas people won't have forgotten what happened the day prior, for example, or even a week prior. For example, Matt Ryan. If we remember when Matt Ryan hit that huge shot to tie that game for the Lakers, that mad corner three, when LeBron ran the decoy play to get, leave Matt Ryan wide open the corner with a half second to go to tie a game. If we had got Matt Ryan the next day, people would have been hyped. However, if we get Matt Ryan in a set like this, people won't give a damn because, well, obviously he was out of the league more than a month ago, but time changes, people forget. And that's one of the things that I will show with this picture. Everyone seemed to have forgot about Jokic's um, Christmas Day game. He had the greatest performance in uh, Christmas Day history. Like 45, or was it 41, 15, and 15? The greatest Christmas Day performance, arguably, in the history of the sport. And like people forgot about it because, well, two days later, later Luca had maybe one of the five greatest regular season performances in the history of the sport. Because that happens. Just like Pascal Siakam going, and scoring 53 points and being second in the all-time leading scores with Raptors got completely outshone by other guys just doing other stuff. So if they do give us a moment in a month, it's highly likely we do see a Yoke, we do see a Doncic, and we do see a Siakam. But other than Luka Doncic's game, which is like historically good, a lot of like general NBA fans that aren't maybe Raptors fans might not even remember, might have even had such short memory that they've forgotten the Pascal Siakam one. And that's kind of the situation that, that's my opinion on it. But we're probably going to get moments in a month. Why? Because it is a smart thing for 2K to do. Because as we know, 2K have gone on vacation. The last um, moments card that we got all year was Andrew Nempars. Like, we have not seen a moments card in my team since the 6th of December. We have, we'll, we'll be going over a month without seeing a moments card. So for that reason, you got to do something. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but like they got to do something. And I think that if they want to keep moments in a month, 
I think that the con- the way they implement the moments in a month last year works perfectly. I would moments in a month is significantly better than moments one day a week, like we've been seeing. Like we've we see have only seen this year, um, eight moments cards, and the NBA season has already been like what's it, twelve weeks or something. So in twelve weeks, you've only seen eight moments cards, which is a pathetically low number of moments cards. So moments in a month is significantly better than what they have been doing. Absolutely better. There are better alternatives, but significantly better. But if they do bring out a concept like this, we could see five pink diamonds. Or even maybe we could see them work in a way that it's multiple opals. Because they've been a lot more like trigger happy in terms of not only giving us opals in packs, but also giving us um free opal or grindable opals and like free grindable pink diamonds. They've been a lot more willing to give us these free grindable cards because let's be real. They could give us a Opal Luka Doncic and an Opal Nikola Jokic. Those, first of all, those guys aren't going to be pack sellers this year because they both kind of suck right now until eventually 2K gives them like a quick release. They're both going to be sitting here on normal release timing and be bad cards. So 2K are going to give these two guys. NBA fans, Luka might be the most hyped NBA player right now. He's going to be the face of the league very soon. He already is the face of the league in an entire continent for Europe. For us, obviously, it's Steph Curry in a lot of the world. Um... In America, I don't even know. Might still be LeBron, but outside of that, it is this Luca fella. But what they're gonna do is they're gonna if they go and give these two as Galaxy Opals, the amount of players that they will draw in from that will be nuts. Again, they would have drawn in more players had they given Luka Doncic out the day after his big game. But they they have been on vacation the last month, and that means we gotta expect a lot. The guy the devs have taken a month off. They've taken a month off. In terms of the hours they work, well deserved. But when they're back, we have to expect something big. We have to expect a lot. And a concept like this would bring a lot of players into the game. If you look, search Google Trends, my team, 2K23, my team is actually in a higher spot this year than 2K21, 22 was last year, which is crazy. It's the first time this year we have seen like an actual decent uptick because of, in my opinion, the season three event was the big catalyst for that. It was the main catalyst, those five free pink diamonds in a week. It has been a catalyst to put my team on the right track. And I'm hoping that continuous good content is something that 2K can bring out to continue, well, the upward trajectory of a game mode that had spent months and months on a downward trajectory. So anyway, yeah, that is the video. Let me know what you guys think. Shout out to um, Central for making these designs. And I will probably use these two cards. I'll probably use some of the cards in a thumbnail. Um... I don't know well thumbnail. I might just use this picture. Shout out to him um for this. And anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.